as painful as it was for him, he was making it seem like it was that painful, then he should go to the hospital. No, we should go to the ER. He was like, well, no, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to, because, you know, I want to really hang out with you tonight. And I was like, well, okay, so I don't know what to do. And I don't know, am I a bad person? Like, tell, comment below, am I a bad person for, like, not taking it, just telling him to, like, shut up and get over, like, the the moment of being in, like, our, each other's presence and our, to each other's presence is, isn't more important than the health, because I think that's something I should have said. Now I'm regretting this. Anyway. So, we're having this experience. He's at my house. Um, but he actually actually started to get better and he actually started to uh, lighten up on his pain and such and so we just hung out and talked again all night about each other and just getting to know each other and we just really liked getting to know like like everything about like one another like our experiences the things we go through how we handle things <sighs> well, you know all of the above and his pain completely subsides you know um like after like i had mentioned if we should go to the er yeah and you know it was a good night so i was like yeah it's a good night so we ended it on that note and i was you know, I walk him out to his car. We get to his car. We get to his car. And he's like, um... You know, uh, what are you going to be doing? Da -da 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 for next week. And, you know, I'm just like, um... You know, I don't really know, but I, um, probably have this. And, like, this and this going on. And then he goes ahead and he just grabs me. And he just kisses me. Yep. Just laid one on me. Mid, mid sentence. I was just like, so I'm going to be doing this. Needless to say, it was rather nice. <clears throat> I totally <laughs> didn't expect it, honestly. I thought yeah, I was I was not I didn't see it coming. I genuinely truly didn't think that he liked me like that. I just thought like this is like a really cool friend to have. I was just like, yeah. We can hang out again, you know? We can hang out. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, um, so from that, you know, <laughs> and so from that, from that moment on, I had got, you know, I got the memo. I was like, oh. Got it. You like me. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. It was like one of those situations where you don't know you like them or like even like had a crush or like feelings for them until like the other one like says something. So it was like kind of like that for me with him because like I knew I liked him a lot as a person he was really chill to like have as a friend but I didn't consider to think anything um, past that because <laughs> I never think anyone wants to be with me so um, he <laughs> uh, yeah uh, yeah oh. and we talked and get talking didn't we didn't we Seth we kept talking, talking. <sighs> god damn it <laughs> I gotta wrap this story up man I'm like fuck
think I haven't talked about this in months because I not wanted to think about your little yourself. And my God, does he look like Evan Peters? talking and we were kept vibing and um then what had happened so I have this thing right I have this I have these exes that like they don't treat me the best in them. They leave me quite emotionally scarred. <laughs> Where I have quite a heavy, <laughs> dense amount of OCD. Not OCD, of PTSD. PTSD is what I mean to say. Sorry for the brief interjection. PTSD. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and one night we're, you know, we're snapping. Right? We're Snapchatting. We're Snapchatting. <laughs> we're just, we're just vibing it up. We're just texting. We're talking. We're calling. We're snapping. We're doing all of the things. <laughs> And I snap him one night, and I snap him with this this show in the background. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of it, but it's Dating No Filter. And I was watching Dating No Filter. And, you know, they're flirting. They're flirting. You know, they're flirting in the show. He, this guy is saying how hot this girl is. And, yeah, just talking to her up. Just saying, you're so cute. You're so trying. You're so hot. And <laughs> I'm snapping a snap to this guy, to Seth. Old Seth. Same time. And um, <laughs> in the snap, you hear the guy from the show saying all these things to the girl in the show in the background of my snap. So in that moment, I snap. Because I just realized that I had just sent a snap to this man with that in the background. Let me just point out. Let me just point that if this had happened in any of my past relationships, <laughs> well, you know, it wouldn't be a thing. No, no, sweetie, because, um, because it would be an issue. <laughs> yeah. Because my ex-boyfriend, who I was with, you know, this guy, Seth, it's not my boyfriend, but he was um, a good man who was coming in runner-up to apply for the position. And, um, because of my past boyfriend's actions, I had reacted to dear Seth the same way I would have had to react to my ex before dear Seth. Because, like I said, if, if that was my ex, that would have been a whole deal because he would have been like, oh my gosh, who is this man and your background? 
trying to say, trying to say things, trying to say, try, trying to tell you, tell you you're hot. Who's that man in the background that you're with that you're cheating on me with? Who is that? Who is that? He would not be okay. He would be. Woo! So, would be. So, I reacted before he could respond, and I thought his silence was like the same thing that my ex would have had done to me, which is investigate me, make sure where I was was real make me prove that I wasn't with anyone like it would have been a whole thing even though it was just the television and even though if I knew that my ex-boyfriend would not accept that and so I thought you know because of how I had accepted my ex-boyfriend to treat me I thought that's how all men act and so I had done that to dear Seth Seth boy Seth man Dear. No boy. Um, Seth. <laughs> and he did not respond well. Oh no. No. He didn't like that. <clears throat> he did not like that. <sighs> so Seth, Seth, he started to freak the fuck out. As I guess someone naturally would over somebody else freaking out as to why like what the fuck because I freaked out because he wasn't responding to me and then I like started over explaining myself like bro this isn't somebody here with me this isn't a guy please respond to me oh my god I'm just like in fucking panic mode and then and Seth didn't respond and then Seth gets on snapchat and then Seth Seth is like, girl, what the, what the, what the, huh, huh? And then I, ex I explained everything to him. I was like, okay. I was like, you did this to yourself, okay? Like, you put yourself in this position, Jen. Okay, it's time to get yourself out of it because... There's no reason. There's no reason for you to be in this position with Seth. You know? We j we j we're not even dating. Okay? There's no reason to be in this position with Seth. So, um... I'm like, okay, girl. You better buckle down. Explain yourself. So I explain myself. I was like, it's this, this, this app. And it was the same time, simultaneously, as a snap, and I'm sorry, and anything you need, I will prove it. And I did everything he needed to prove it, and I proved it. <sighs> and then friggin' Seth! Then it got to the point where Seth, well, Seth just didn't believe anything that I f***ing said. Which is the whole reason, okay, why I spazzed the f*** out in the first place. Because I was like, oh my god, I know he's going to freak out. Oh my god, he's going to fix this shit. Oh my god. I was just like f***ing losing it. I was out of it. I was like, this man is making me spiral. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, it's not what you think. <laughs> and then he was like, girl, what you mean? It is, it has to be. Like, what? why would you be acting like this? If it wasn't what you're saying it is, even though you, you proved me with all the, the, all the logical reasons as to why it ain't what it is, but girl, why are you freaking out like it is something? You still following me? Mm, damn it. God. Oh my God. And I was just like, oh my God, please, like, please, please, please. And he is beyond furious. Furious. He is fuming. He is raging. He is screaming. <sighs> and it got to a very, very bad point, actually. To where, um, I actually can't say, like, more. But, like, I just, like, 
let's just say I do not respond well to high intensity negativity like people badgering me with the same comments even though I'm sitting in my 100% truth. Does that make sense? Are you following? I know it's hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then, you know, we got, I we talked all night, all the way until the morning to fix it. And it was this whole thing. Looking back, it was really toxic from the beginning, actually. As much as I don't want to say that, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. I would talk it out until the morning rise, and we then made up, you know, and everything was cool, I thought, and everything was fine, <laughs> I thought, I don't know, he just started, it's like, It's like, I flipped a switch <laughs> that I shouldn't have touched. I didn't mean to. Hit that whole snap. That was, a, that, was a, that was a switch of a snap. Oh my god. That was really detrimental to the destiny of any point of our future of anything. Um... I mean, I'm grateful. <laughs> Just. Oh, it sucks! It sucks! <laughs> so we keep talking. <laughs> We're sending cute messages back and forth. I don't even know. Let's see. Let's. Shall we? Shall we sit here <laughs> and shall we scroll through the messages? Hmm? <laughs> I don't care. All my neighbors are looking at me through my windows, through my open windows because I like the sunlight. You know, I don't care. We're going to sit here. We're going to go through the messages that you Send me. The you, you. Um. I guess we went from saying, I hope your days are full of greatness to a mad disconnect. Cause like after that, like he went into hyper, like hyper paranoid mode. He went into hyper paranoid mode and this guy, he like, he could not, he could, he just, he had mad issues, um, with like everything I was saying. I don't know. Like I would like message him at later times, um, you know. And I'd message him because I'm a mom. You know, I'm a full-time mom. And my daughter needs me. A lot. So I'm a pretty hands-on mom. And so I, I was, I would say, I was, I was, I was just, I like to be there in the present moment with my daughter. Rather be sidetracked with being engulfed into this man as I was. Because I knew I was. And I was trying to change patterns in the same time. I was like, okay, I know, like, right now, I'm showing, like, a bit of codependent tendencies. And, like, I know, because, like, I, like, I had to check in with myself. After that Snapchat outburst, I was like, bro, whoa, like, that night was not okay. Like, I need to, like, see, like, why I'm acting like this. I like, I talked to my therapist and she was like, you know, because of what you've been through, basically, you've had codependent tendencies, 
or not you have codependent tendencies um, because I was raised to be codependent and um, yeah <laughs> so I was like you need to focus and you need to change these things because if you want to bring this guy into your life and if you're serious about cute little Seth over here, then you need to not have the same things and do the same things that you've done in your past relationships. And so I was like, okay. So I did, and I was, and I was keeping space, and I was like checking in, in with him when I like had time, which was at the end of the day. I could give him all my undivided attention, which is what I wanted to do because I really, God, is he, is Seth, quite the, um, talented man. I really enjoyed him for that. And so I'd, like, check in with him. And sometimes, yeah, it'd get, it'd get, it'd get later because I was just going through, like, some things. <laughs> Self-reflection-wise, I was coming out of a relationship after somebody manipulating me to break up with me it was hard it was hard that I had to endure that and then try to renormalize and restabilize myself after that like manipulation and re-strengthen myself but so I did that and so in doing that I thought I was doing the right thing but then also like it was like driving this guy mad so mad like he was like where are you like why are you messing messaging me really late girl um and i was just like i'm super freaking sorry um but like he did all this investigating he like went on facebook and he was like he was like you have this other facebook and this facebook says you're in a relationship and that was <laughs> That Facebook that he found, that him and his friend found and went to go spy and find, um, is my old Facebook that was hacked by my ex-boyfriend that kicked me out of my Facebook. <sighs> because in that relationship, I wouldn't let him into my Facebooks and I wouldn't let him into all that stuff. So since he was a little loco, crazy in the cabeza, he went and he hacked my SHIT, honey, <laughs> and try explaining that to your crush without sounding insane, without sounding like an a just crazy sociopathic liar. Okay, I get it. It sounds like a big fat lie. And that's why I hate my ex-boyfriend. And that's why you guys are gonna get a video. I don't I, I don't hate him. He's a strong word. But that's why you guys are gonna get get a video of my ex-boyfriend who caused that trauma. Yay! Woo! Don't make the same mistakes as me. <laughs> okay. Mmm. <laughs> But yeah, ha 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 ha. He was like, why are you in a relationship? Because yeah, I was in a relationship when that, that, that account got hacked. You could go check it still. It says I'm still in a relationship. Am I? <laughs> I'm the closest thing I'm in a relationship right now is with this sloth and this picture. That's close. As I'm going to. <sighs> Guys, you know, I don't went from that, and he's just like, why? Why? <laughs> Seth is like, just why? Why do you have these things? Why? And I explained to him, and he was like, oh yeah, that's so great. Great. Great, Jen. Thanks for the excuse. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, he believed that shit. Real good. Oh my gosh. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then. 
I just kept like constantly like trying to like balance myself after that. And it was just so friggin' draining. Just trying to prove myself that I'm not I'm not something that he kept trying to make me out to be. He it literally got to the point to where he was like, oh <laughs> <laughs> he was he, he was like passive aggressively sending me messages like basically saying honey I think you're cheating on me even though we're not together but I think you're seeing somebody else behind my back and I'm your side boy man thing hmm no hmm but he was like he like sent me things like <laughs> Sam Smith I know you're not the only one. You remember that? You remember? <laughs> I remember. You remember? I remember. 